Hi guys and welcome to Coffee with Nadia. Today we are doing April favorites for 2019. Stay tuned. Before I show you what I got, I'll explain why these are my favorites this month. So I have been in the process of picking out skincare for myself. Um, a lot of wrinkle kind of creams, a lot of night creams, day creams. And in that process, because my skin is so sensitive, I did break out a little bit like right here and a little bit on the side right here. So I needed coverage. I work full time right now and um, in a professional setting and I needed to look good. The first item I have is this baby skin instant pore eraser this thing has been so fabulous to erase right here like these kind of bumps when i'm putting um the rest of my makeup on and let me just put some on my hand and show you and right there i think you can tell it's like this almost silicone kind of and you just work it in and it's going to be so so smooth and you do not need a lot um i feel like you need just a little bit because a little bit goes a long way it smooths into the skin it's already gone it smooths into the skin so lovely and it reminds me of the smash uh, the photo finish smashbox eyeshadow primer that you put on it's kind of like that consistency that beautiful smooth kind of and it just feels so nice when you put it on so i do use this in the spots that i need it and a little bit goes a long way with this then after that if i need any highlighter i usually don't on regular basis put makeup on um, because I'll just do my eyes, my eyebrows, and my lipstick. But because I've been kind of breaking out and messing with my skin a little bit, I kind of have to. So I got this Shape Tape by Tarte. And it's basically, I use it to highlight areas like right here, like my nose line. And it, it goes on smooth. I It's not very, for me, it's not greasy. I have a oily T-zone. It's not greasy even if I put it in my oily areas, like if I need to do a little bit on my forehead. It's not heavy on your skin, so that is important for me too because um, after I use this, I do use this Bare Minerals Complex Rescue. And I'm very fair. I'm, I'm not porcelain. I'm usually like the second lightest color not the first but the second this is vanilla 02 that's the one that the color i use and here is what the bottle looks like and you could tell how much i've been using it because i just seriously just took the month messing with my face with my skin so this goes on nicely it covers really really well um so this has been my go-to the whole month after i'm done with my makeup and all my my face is done i have been absolutely using this daily monday to friday and on sundays if i go out or when i go out um and it's this urban decay um finishing spray it's makeup setting spray long lasting let me tell you guys this right here was done in the morning at seven o'clock in the morning when I did my makeup it is right now 825 I don't know if you could tell it's 825 at night um, because by the time I got home picked up my dog from the neighbors I just been busy this I have all of these things that I mentioned I have on my face actually yeah all of them yeah, even the highlighter I have a little bit on my nose line. So I have all of these, not highlighter, but the shape tape I have on my nose line today and a little bit of my forehead. So I have I used all of these, sprayed it with this Urban Decay Genius Formula. And I'm not sponsored or paid to say this, but it absolutely works and lasts. 
The only thing I really did when I got home was I touched up on my lipstick a little bit. So this stuff works. I am like obsessed with this. Another favorite of the month has been uh, by Sephora Retractable Eyeliner. And this one is waterproof and I absolutely love it. It does have the little, um, you know, the little uh, little sponge on, you know, to soften your eyeliner line if you need to. So that's that. And that is it for the makeup for the month. I will obviously list everything down below. Moving on. So the next thing that I have absolutely now I'm obsessed with, and I actually just ordered another pair, um, is this Ann Klein Sport. If you guys, whoever has a job where you're running around and heels is not always practical when you're in the office and just this, I'm telling you, I come home after working the whole day and I'll walk my dog in these guys. That is how good. And I mean, they're simple. They're clean. You could wear them with black. I actually just ordered a pair with like a leopard print on the side. And so now I'm literally just going and checking out sales. Uh, they are sold in the Chicagoland area, at least. They are sold in Macy's and DSW. And so if you go on either of those, if you're in the United States and you go on either of those websites, you should be able to find them if this is something that you may need because I mean the heel is not high at all and it's absolutely I've been wearing it for a month look at the shape it's in it's not bad at all I mean maybe they're a little bit but no I mean it's it's good it's comfortable I can the whole day I can just live in these they're just absolutely wonderful I mean I, I love them um then I cannot believe this next item I have never shown you I don't think I even went back on my YouTube and looked at my videos I'm like never mentioned this and that is my Pandora bracelet so I'm thinking I might have to do a video on my Pandora bracelet I know I did a video when we bought our sister rings, the gold honey, um, honey rings. So I know I showed uh, you that one because I did an unboxing, but I've never shown you my little Pandora bracelet and I've been wearing it daily. So I'm thinking I'll do a video on basically all my little charms because they're so cute. And, you know, the whole point of Pandora is I'm sentimental and... All of these mean something to me, which is great. And um, so if you're interested, let me know down below because I am thinking of doing a video and just sharing my charms. Then let's get into a few luxury items. Number one, can't live without this. This is my most used item. I got it about three years ago at Christmas. So now it's about three and a half years. Except for a little wear on the zipper pull which I don't know if you're able to even tell there's a little wear but look at the condition of the canvas and it's obviously in the May event I mean just nothing and I have my my keys in there and then my you know car fob and you could see the wear on here it's like almost like a pinky color right here just because the metal is constantly you know dragging against it I don't know if you're able to tell I don't know if my hands helping or hurting you see but um, yeah this has just been I figure one of these months I have to mention this it's just because it's an item that I use all the time and it's something that it just absolutely fabulous I actually I'm thinking of getting another one in Demi Azure or maybe the monogram print just because to use for other things like it to organize in my purse just because it's small compact you know it's the word I'm looking is compactable okay I know I'm saying it wrong but I know you guys know what I mean 
it's tiny, it's small, it's durable. I mean, durable. I remember we went to a restaurant and my sister brought her to uh, my little niece and she must have been like a year and a half. We had no toys, so I gave her this. Um, I Obviously, we wiped it off really nicely just so, you know, because in case she puts it in her mouth. And she did. I'm glad we wiped it down. She didn't destroy it. She didn't. And she had little teeth. And, I mean, it's in great, great condition after the stuff that I've, I've been actually putting it through. Now, let's move on to my handbag of the month and then a bandeau or a scarf of the month. So, my handbag of the month is going to be Garden Party Inspired or Hermes Garden Party Inspired handbag that I got on Amazon. I'll link the video up here where I unbox this. I love this bag. It is so professional, nice, and beautiful. And Do you guys want to see how I decorate it? I will show you. Um, here I just used a a monogram confidential bandeau, the black and white, and I did I did a double double bow right here. Brought it brought it together with a ribbon. Let me know if you want to know how to do this because I had to do this for this bow because it is quite long. This bandeau is really, really long. So I'm like, it was too long to just tie it onto the handle. So I had to do the double bow and I think it absolutely looks adorable. I'm just obsessed with it now. I'm like, it's so, so cute like this. So yeah, love, love her. Uh, and that is all for my April favorites. Thank you so much for sticking around. You guys are so fantastic. And I'm almost cl this, this close to a thousand subscribers. And then I will be doing a giveaway. So I'm excited about that. That's always exciting for everyone, right? And then uh, I think that is it for this month. Please find me on Instagram at Coffee with Nadia. You guys are fantastic. Love you all. Have a great day.